Happy Mondays Sean Ryder thinks his brother Paul's sudden death is a bit iffy and has called for answers. Paul was found dead at the age of 58 just hours before the band was due to perform at Kubik's festival in Sunderland. According to the coroner, Paul died as a result of ischemic heart disease and diabetes. However, Sean thinks it has something to do with the COVID vaccine his brother got a few weeks before his death. Speaking to Mail Online, Sean, 59, said, It's a bit iffy to me, as a 50-something-year-old bloke, had had a clean bill of health, and he has his booster, flies over here and dies. We're going to be waiting two weeks for the autopsy. Sean believes the booster jab his brother had might have triggered something. The vaccine is safe and, as written on the NHS website, reduces your risk of getting seriously ill or dying from COVID-19, reduces the risk of catching or spreading it, and protects against other variants. Boosters can give an increased measure of protection, around 95%, according to studies by Pfizer. After his death, the band, which originally was made up of Paul, Sean, Gary Whelan on drums, Paul Davis on keyboard and Mark Bezday on guitar, wrote in a Facebook post, The Ryder family and Happy Mondays band members are deeply saddened and shocked to say that Paul Ryder passed away this morning. A true pioneer and legend. He will be forever missed. We thank you for respecting the privacy of all concerned at this time. Sean later said in an interview his brother's death only hit him hard when he returned to the stage to play live. He explained, I've just been looking after my ma'am, so I've not really been thinking about it. Get all the biggest showbiz news straight to your inbox. Sign up for the free Mara Showbiz newsletter. It didn't really hit me until I went on stage and he wasn't there. That's when it really got me but I couldn't stop the show or anything, I just kept going. Paul's funeral was held at St. Charles Church in Swinton, Manchester, earlier this week. Others paying their respects today included Stone Roses singer Ian Brown, Happy Mondays bandmate Bess and former New Order bass player and now solo artist Peter Hook. The service featured Paul's bandmate Ro at his singing bridge over troubled water before prayers and then David Bowie's Starman as the recessional music. On the back of the order of service, a message read. Paul's family wish to express their sincere thanks to you all for your many kind messages of sympathy, love and support at this very sad time. Do you have a story to sell? Get in touch with us at webcelebsatmirror.co.uk or call us direct at 0207 29